What's up, guys? Kyle here with Crypto Theory. All right, we're talking everybody's favorite meme, Crypto Dogecoin today, okay? What's going on with Doge? It's absolutely dumped after the Elon Musk Saturday Night Live skit. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to see where do we go from here? What should we be doing or, you know, thinking about doing? So, guys, before we jump in and talk Doge, make sure to smash up those likes. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications for us. We appreciate it. If you want to check out what we're doing on Facebook, uh, we've got a great community that we're building on there. Link in the description down below. Go down there. Give us a like on Facebook. Join our Facebook group. All that good stuff. We appreciate you guys. All right. Let's jump right in. We're not going to waste any time. We're talking Doge, okay? Absolutely dumped after the Elon Musk skit. And what's going on with it right now? What could be some of the reasoning behind it? And also, where do we go from here? Now, I do want to point out, A, this is not professional financial advice, just my opinion. Also, B... Um, this is being filmed the night before you're going to be seeing this. Okay. So it's not, it may not be like right up to date numbers. So obviously, you know, base it on what you are seeing at the time of viewing this. But as of right now, down 15% today, when most of the rest of the market is really, uh, is really kind of pumping along and everything. So what's going on with Doge? Well, you know, a couple days ago, leading up to the the SNL, you know, the the fever pitch for this was just astounding. Seventy three cents. People claiming that it could hit a dollar. We talked about it a little bit on this channel. Could it get to a dollar uh, with the right push from Elon Musk and the right people backing it and everything? Uh, the answer to that is no, not right now. Now, could it potentially still get there this year? Hey, it's it's very possible. You know what? What I have learned with this project right here is, you know what? You never count it out because you know what? The moment you do, it surprises the heck out of you. So you know what? You just ride the wave and, and see what happens. So it is still possible it could get to a dollar. I mean, it did have a huge dump overnight. So we'll see what kind of happens with it. But you can see it's still high trading volume, still number four overall market cap and everything. So who knows? However, there was precursors that were, you know, there, there was people talking about this kind of a precursor to what was going on. Uh, people claiming that this type of thing very well could happen, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna show the tweets here in just a second. But basically, an article from 21 hours ago, right here on uh, Coin Telegraph, Dogecoin dumps following mention from Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live. The crowd seemed to enjoy his performance. Doge traders soured on Elon Musk's shout out. So it goes on to show all the different tweets that have been going on uh, about Dogecoin leading up to this. Okay, Elon back on April 28th basically uh, tweeted the Doge Father, which we've talked about previously, uh, Saturday Night Live, May 8th. Okay, literally right beforehand, the day before, he comes out with another tweet. Cryptocurrency is promising, but please invest with caution. Okay, so maybe cautioning people against investing and FOMOing into um, uh, FOMOing into Doge at that point, maybe thinking, hey, look, this is growing really, really rapidly. Don't FOMO into this because, you know, I can't guarantee anything, basically, you know, and this is kind of seems like one of those classic, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news type of, uh, you know, the, the old saying, buy the rumor, sell the news. This kind of seems like a classic case of that right there, okay? You can see as we go down through here, uh, uh, right here, founder and CEO of Digital Currency Group, parent company of crypto investment vehicle Grayscale, basically says, okay, Doge peeps, it's been fun. Welcome to crypto, okay? We've talked about how Dogecoin can be a good thing for a lot of newbies because it does, it does make it fun and it gets people into the market. And look, at the end of the day, if you're making money, that's what it's all about. You know, that's what crypto is all about. And that's the beautiful thing of crypto is you can have projects like this that can absolutely pump and you can make money on it. You know, like I said, have I been the biggest Doge fan in the world in the past? No. But you know what? I'm happy when people are making money. That's the most important thing. But I think he makes a great point right here. And this is what I want to talk about more. It's been fun. Welcome to crypto. You're getting your feet wet with it. But the time has come for you to, to convert your Doge to Bitcoin. Okay. And I don't think he could be more right. I think that he's absolutely right on the money with that. I think it's one of those things, if you have been making massive gains with Doge, again, not professional financial advice, but I think you, I think it, the time has come where maybe you need to at least consider taking some of it and investing it into something else like Bitcoin or Ethereum, something a little bit safer that still has massive, massive potential. Because the thing with Doge is you just don't know. I mean, it could it could exponentially grow again from here or it could be something that, you know, that, that goes down. Now, what else I want to talk about on here is this right here, okay? Something else that's a little bit concerning with this. There's another article here from a few days ago. Greg Thompson wrote, only whales move Doge. Data suggests major Dogecoin wealth gap, okay? And he goes on to say right down here, where was it? Right here, okay. Over 1.4 million transactions were counted on the Ethereum blockchain yesterday, according to data, okay? 
Close to 300,000 were counted on Bitcoin. Compare this to just 76,000 recorded on the Dogecoin blockchain. An apparent wealth gap begins to emerge. Okay, And it goes on to basically say, combined with this longstanding reality that one single address holds 28, so almost 30% of all coins, all Dogecoins in existence, is held by one single address, while just 12 account for 67%. Okay, Think of that. 12 account for 67%, one being a holder of 30% or close to it of all coins in existence. Becomes clear that Dogecoin isn't exactly the people's champion that interested parties would have the public believe. Okay, So very interesting news right there where really it's just a bunch of whales that are holding Dogecoin if this is actually true. Now, again, guys, I'm not saying that all this stuff is true. I'm not saying uh, – but – Looking at it right there, I mean, you can, they can verify that one single address has that. And I'm not saying that what they're saying on here is absolutely what you should do. It's not professional advice. However, again, if it was me and I was, you know, and, and I had massive profits like so many people out there probably do from Dogecoin, even though it dumped, you still probably have massive profits from it. You might want to start looking into, I think Bitcoin is getting ready to go. I really do. I think Bitcoin is ready. It's been, it's been sitting there waiting for a little bit and we're going to look at it right now. The other one, obviously Ethereum, you know, Ethereum, Cardano, obviously they're both at all time high. So be very careful there. But I think that they just have so much room to grow. Polkadot, I mean, so many different projects that you could put it in to see that exponential growth. Uh, and, and it's a little bit more of a, I don't want to say a sure thing, but it's at least a little bit safer. But let's take a look at Bitcoin real quick and then we'll get you out of here. So Bitcoin, if we take a look at it here over the last, you know what, let's look at it over the last 90 days. Okay. Uh, you know, actually, let's look at it over the last 30. Okay, perfect. Right here. So as we take a look at it, basically all of May, okay, all of May, we have really kind of been hovering between that 55-ish and $60,000 range. We haven't broken 60K yet. You can see the 60,000 line right there, and we have not broken that, okay? We're close right now, okay? It's just shy of 59,000. I mean, it's been close a few times, but it really hasn't broken that 60,000 mark or really even that 59,000 mark. I personally believe when it does break 60K, it's ready to run, okay? I think 75K is imminent. A lot of people calling for that in the very near future, and I do believe that that is the case. It just needs that pump over 60,000. It's got to it's got to surpass that psychological bear, uh, barrier, and then I think it's ready to go. So, guys, that's what I've got for today, right there. What are you doing with your Doge if you still have it? Are you hanging on to it? Are you getting ready to sell it? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, if you've already sold it, good for you. You probably made some insane profits, and congratulations on that. So, let us know in the comments below. And guys, with that being said, that's all I got. We'll catch you in the next one.